Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu appeared to suffer a setback in national elections Tuesday, with his religious and nationalist allies failing to secure a parliamentary majority early exit polls showed. Exit polls from Israeli's three major television stations showed the centrist Blue and White Party of ex-military chief Benny Gantz is projected to win 32 seats, while Netanyahu's right-wing Likud Party is on pace for 31 seats, read more, will election weary Israelis and Benjamin Netanyahu's rule. Israeli exit polls are often imprecise and unofficial results expected on Wednesday could shift the seat count. Either way, the results indicate that Netanyahu or Gantz will face tough and protracted negotiations to cobble together a government. The initial results showed that neither Blue and White nor Likud would be able to form a 61-seat majority in the 120-member Knesset with the support of their allies. Likud and its religious and nationalist allies with which it hoped to form a majority only have 55 seats, according the average of the three exit polls. Blue and white could enlist support of 59 for a centre-left government. Lieberman as kingmaker The results put ex-defence minister Avigdor Lieberman in a kingmaker role. His secular hardline Yisrael Bitenu that receives most of its support from Russian speakers was on pace to win nine seats, nearly double its performance in April's election. Lieberman, a former Netanyahu protégé, refused to join a Likud-led government following April's election because of what he said was excessive influence ultra-Orthodox religious parties. His move forced Netanyahu to call new elections to avoid giving other parties a chance to form a government. Late Tuesday, the Moldovan-born Lieberman reiterated that he sought a broad unity government with Likud and blue and white. There is only one option for us, he said, adding the unity government should exclude the country's ultra-orthodox religious parties, Benny Gantz, L, Avigdor Lieberman, C, and Benjamin Netanyahu, R. A complication is that Gantz has ruled out forming a government with a Netanyahu-led Likud at a time when the Prime Minister is expected to be indicted on corruption charges in the coming weeks. Lawmakers in Gantz's party have said they open to a unity government with Likud, but not under Netanyahu's leadership. We will act to form a broad unity government that will express the will of the people, Gantz said at a post-election rally, though he cautioned supporters to wait for final results. Meanwhile, Lieberman is unlikely to want to sit in a government with left-wing Arab parties or the ultra-Orthodox religious parties. Blue and white is also unlikely to ask Arab parties to join a coalition. Arab parties come in third place. The joint list, an alliance of Arab parties, came in third with 14 seats, according to exit polls. They could potentially block Netanyahu from becoming prime minister by recommending Gantz. In other results, the ultra-Orthodox Shahs and United Torah Judaism were expected to win 9 and 8 seats, respectively, the right-wing Yamuna Party 7, the Labour Party 6, and Democratic Union 5 seats. The ultra-nationalist Jewish power faction, widely viewed as a racist supremacist group, failed to overcome the threshold to enter Parliament. Over the next days the focus will shift to President Reuven Rivlin, who is responsible for choosing the candidate he believes has the best chance to form a government. That is usually, but not always, the leader of the largest party. CW, Shea App, DPA, Reuters, DW sends out a daily selection of the day's news and features, sign up here, let's block ads. Why?